morning. I ask staff to please take their seats as we begin. Good morning parents, staff and students to our 2018 Good Samaritan Catholic College Opening School Mass. Last year, we were left with a challenge to love one another. As we gather here today to accept God's invitation to make a commitment to journey with a new focus in 2018 on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the gift of Jesus, is a traveling companion of the church. We must open our hearts to the Holy Spirit Otherwise, he cannot enter in. I now invite Ashley, who will lead us in the acknowledgement of country. I would like to welcome everyone to Dara Country this morning. I wish to pay my respects to all elders past, present, and thank them all for all the work that they have done over countless generations to maintain what was, is, and always shall be Aboriginal land. Let us stand now together united and lift up our voices in singing Open the Eyes of My Heart. Father, 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On this warm morning with such a huge congregation, I think it would be good if you were seated, please. Mrs. Mutu described the Holy Spirit as the travelling companion of the church. Your journeying with compassion, the Holy Spirit travels with you. I'm very, very conscious of spirit. Yesterday we had the funeral of Father Peter Neville, accidentally knocked down by a car a few days before. I was very conscious of spirit, a lovely, peaceful spirit in the funeral. And I understand death to mean that it's not the end of our spirit, our self, our consciousness, but a bit like when a light bulb blows. It doesn't mean there's no electricity. It just can't express itself anymore through the bulb. So too, Father Peter's spirit survived the death of his body, a compound with the body that it once was, it no longer had, but free to be with God in heaven. And I pray that this morning our spirits will be in touch through the Holy Spirit with the Father and with Jesus, who is God with us. As we pray for all that's good for everyone in the Good Samaritan community in this school year. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We all pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. pray quietly the main thing you'd love to ask God for this year. Let us pray. O oh God, you who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. There is a variety of gifts, but always the same Holy Spirit who gives them. There are all sorts of service to be done, but always for the same Lord. Working in all sorts of different ways in different people, it is the same God who is working in all of them. The particular way in which the Holy Spirit is given to each person is for a good purpose. The Holy Spirit distributes different gifts to different people just as he chooses. Just as a human body, which is made up of different parts, is a single unit. So it is, it is with the church, which is the body of Christ, in the one spirit which we are all baptised, and the one spirit was given to all of us to drink. This is the word of the Lord. Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Has struck with power. The Lord's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. which the builders rejected, has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To you, Jesus said to his friends, 
You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It would no longer be good for anything except to be thrown out and trund trod underfoot by people. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. And no one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on a lampstand so it can shine for everyone in the house. Well, in the same way as these, your light must shine before others so that seeing the good things you do, they will honour God your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus says to you and to me, and it's a great compliment, you are the salt of the earth. My father lived many years of his young adult life as a permanent resident of Ireland. And he learned in Ireland, among other things, to cook well. He loved to cook porridge, in fact. We had porridge each morning of the life that I lived at home, from when I was a little child to when I left home. And in the evening, Dad would prepare the porridge. He would soak it and salt it, and he would leave it overnight. It seems strange, but in the morning, we would after he'd cooked it and left for work, he left very early, we'd put brown sugar on it and have porridge every morning and we loved it. In fact, my brother and I used to fight over cleaning out the, the porridge saucepan. The salting it the night before is an Irish thing which makes a world of difference actually to real porridge. Extraordinary. Flavour it lends, it gives a difference, extraordinary. Jesus says to you and to me, I want you to be a good flavour among your peers, among your contemporaries. I want you to lend a good taste to their lives by the sort of person you are, the one who lifts the tone the one who gives good example, the one who appreciates both their blessings and their challenges and enters wholeheartedly into life. We're all different, of course. We all feel a little different when we join a, little, when join a group of people, feel a little different from everyone, and that's a healthy and wholesome thing. But you and I are meant to be a good flavour to people's lives. When I was studying to be a priest for seven years, uh, in the holidays at Christmas, I worked in the GPO, the General Post Office, as a mail sorter for a few weeks before Christmas to get some money for the next year. And, and then I went to work on a farm after Christmas for a while. But the GPO in those days, it's a long time ago, had fewer machines, automation wasn't to the extent that it is now. So there were many hundreds of people working in the GPO. And so it was easy for someone to not do much work. With that many workers in such a big building, people could slip away and duck off to the pub at lunchtime and longer. Or one chap I know, used to use a phone all the time to take bets on the races. And 
it was an extraordinary place to live, except one section, as I moved from one section to another, there was one section where the flavour was different. People were happy and worked honestly and cooperatively. They seemed to get on well with each other. And I soon learned it was all because of one chap, fairly senior, named Paul Malone. I never met him again after I worked at the post office. He was just the most decent man and in his company people didn't feel like doing things wrong. They didn't feel like shirking or not working. Or it was a different, different atmosphere, a different flavour. And I realised then what a difference an individual can make like the little bit of salt that Dad used in the porridge made an enormous difference, as any chef will know in lots of dishes too. So please God, this year, you'll add flavour to the lives of your fellow students, not just your friends, but to those in your class and wider. Through the sort of person you are and appreciative of all the blessings you've got here and, and uh, aware of the challenges and determined to enter happily into life and make the most of it and cooperating with others and building them up rather than dragging the tone down. That's what I pray, that this year, because Jesus calls you this, you will be the salt of the earth. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As we have been united in listening to God's words, let's be united now in sincere prayer for God's family, for his people. God our Father, we ask you to bless those who teach and learn. May you continue to lead them to you through scientific and intellectual discovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, Bless our new Year 7 students. Provide them with strength and perseverance to embrace the challenges of school life. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to take care of the Good Samaritan Catholic College community. May you bless our students and remind them that the way to you is to journey with justice, mercy, and compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to care for the families who have lost loved ones or are suffering from illness. Touch them with your gentle healing and let them know that you are always near to them in times of need. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we ask you to guide our Year 12 students as they undertake their high school certificate. May they have the strength and courage to use the gifts that you have given each one of them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders, religious and civil. We pray for our Pope and all those who try to teach us to live good lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, ever-loving God, hear our prayers, those that have been spoken here now and the unspoken longings in the depths of our hearts. May your Holy Spirit inspire us to reflect the love of Jesus and so help build up a world in which all people are respected. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. You could be seated.
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. could remain seated today. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrificial gifts we offer be acceptable to you, O Lord, so that we who celebrate with trust this new college year, may for the rest of its course, by your grace, be enabled by your Holy Spirit to live it in your wisdom and love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you've been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For although he was by nature God, he emptied himself of status and by shedding his blood on the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he's been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with all the hosts and saints of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with one voice we acclaim created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give all life you give all holiness and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting from east to west a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. 
that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your friend Francis, our Pope, Bishop of Rome, and Anthony, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom 
You bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At our Saviour's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Sincerely, and clearly, would you say that prayer? Peace be with you. For those beside you now, please offer each other that sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
You could remain seated now, please. Let us pray. O Lord, draw near to us your people who have experienced your sacred mysteries so that throughout this year we may trust in your protection and may use well the gifts and opportunities you give us through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your blessing on these badges and above all on those who wear them. By their conduct and spirit of service, may they inspire confidence and trust in all whom they serve. May they come to recognise that a true leader empties themselves of all power and ambition so that they may be seen in their words and their actions through Christ our Lord. Well, very good afternoon to Brother Pat and to certainly our parents. Now, friends who have joined us on a warm afternoon for our opening school mass for 2018. Good Samaritan, it gives me great pleasure to announce our college leaders for 2018 and I would ask please students if you hold your applause to the end and at the end of the students pledge I'm sure then after Brother Pat's final blessing over our leaders that we will certainly congratulate them. So without further to do I would ask Miss Donovan to give out our leaders for 2018 their badges, our college captains for 2018 Nora Tacredi and Joel Kapanig. Once again, I'd ask you just to hold your applause. Thank you. For Catholic life and spirituality, the Year 12 student leaders for 2018 are Zoe Caruana and TJ Bruce. Year 12 student leaders for social justice, Madison Thompson and Braden McCrone. Our Year 12 student leaders for environmental and sustainability, Chanel Fimpranchin and Dominic Craniti. And our Year 12 leaders of school spirit and student wellbeing, Courtney Kassa and Terry Zervis. Our Year 11 student leaders for 2018 in the area of Catholic life and spirituality, Emma Reedy and Mitchell Keogh. Your 11 leaders for social justice, Vanessa Wishelam and Chris L. Hayek. Your 11 leaders for environmental and sustainability, Miriam Sidrak and Kobe Carabello. And our Year 11 leaders for school spirit and student wellbeing, Sarah Jarrett and Thomas Yusea. Our Year 10 student representative leaders for 2018 are Selena Wong and Matthew Sam. Year 9 student representative leaders for 2018, Ivana Jonjic and Noah Craig. And our Year 8 student representative leaders for 2018, Jessica Maru and Lucas Goulas.
I would invite now Brother Pat to pray a special blessing over our student leaders for 2018. Heavenly Father, send your blessing on these leaders by their conduct and their spirit of service. May they inspire confidence and trust. May they come to recognise that a true leader empties themselves of all power and prepares the way for others to do the work of Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. And we now invite, invite forward our college captains for 2018 to lead our student representatives for 2018 in their leadership pledge. I invite forward Nora and I invite forward Joel. We, we have, have been, been given, given the honour of being elected the Good Samaritan Catholic College student leaders for 2018. We accept this responsibility with pride and pledge that, with God's loving help and guidance, we will endeavour to serve the Good Samaritan Catholic College community to the best of our ability as we journey with compassion. Once again, we congratulate all of our student leaders. And as Mr. Bradbury finishes with that photo, I would invite our leaders to return to their seats. And now I'd ask the rest of our school community, if you would mind please standing for our final prayer and blessing. Thank you, Good Samaritan. The Lord be with you. May God bless you, almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. As we journey through the days and nights of life,
very much, everybody. I certainly won't keep you long. And that probably wasn't quite as good a, a, as a practice yesterday, but I think we got there in the end. So thanks to our leaders there um, for leading us in the action of our school song. Um, can I just take this opportunity, and I'll just get your attention just for a couple of minutes. This is the first formal time this year that we've all been together as a full school community. So I take this opportunity um, to welcome everybody back for 2018. Can I especially welcome the parents over there, um, the parents of our, of our leaders and the other family members um, of our leaders. And we really appreciate you coming here and um, celebrating our liturgy with us this morning. And we absolutely congratulate all the leaders and I certainly look forward to working with them to serve the community um, this year. Uh, we, uh, the theme of our Mass this morning, I think, is a really, really good message for us um, throughout the year, particularly as this is the year of youth. So we pray, of course, and we ask that as a, a Good Samaritan community, that the Holy Spirit will guide and, and will inspire and also will unify us this year. And my hope, of course, is that everybody here uses their many gifts so that you let your light shine here at Good Samaritan Catholic College this year. I just take this opportunity to say thank you very much to Brother Pat. And because it's a new year, how about we say welcome back, Brother Pat. Um, I also uh, just uh, want to say um, thank you to Mrs Mutu, to her team, to the musicians, to the choir, particularly our altar servers, and to everybody else who um, contributed to our liturgy uh, this morning. And also thank you all very much for your participation as well. And the final thing I just want to say is, while we're all together, we have quite a few new teachers this year. We have new students across all the year groups, and we have all our Year 7 students who are new to the school. So why don't we finish this morning by just giving them the biggest welcome that we possibly can. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to invite our uh, leaders just to go over and uh, meet with your parents and just take them off um, and we'll, we have some morning tea waiting and then I'm going to hand over to Mr Griffith to give you instructions. Thanks everybody, have a good day. Well, thank you very much, Good Samaritan. Could I just have your attention, please, just for a further one minute only. Thank you. You've been exceptionally good this morning and into the early hours of this afternoon. And as our parents and our friends join our school leaders for morning tea, just so you know exactly what's happening, we are at approximately, I think, about 12.30. Period three today would com be completed by five to one. So there is about 25 minutes left in period three. So what I would ask, please, and if you just listen carefully and if we all participate and do the right thing, we'll be out of here very quickly and it'll be cooler back into the areas of the classrooms. So we ask for your participation and we ask for you to follow these simple instructions. When you move back to your PC classes, Good Samaritan, I would ask you to collect your bags and I would ask you to make sure, please, or your belongings, particularly if they're already in your lockers, go back to your lockers and get your books for period three. Make your way directly to period three. It will complete or will be finished by five to one. Could you also then have your books ready for period four? That will go from five to one through to 1.35. A bell will ring for lunch. Lunch will commence at 1.35 through to...